Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make some apple fritters. But before we get to the recipe, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notifications for upcoming videos. I do post weekly, so y'all don't wanna miss out on any of those that I've got coming up. Let me tell you what all is gonna go in these apple fritters, and then we're gonna go ahead and get them mixed up, and then we're gonna fry them up for you. You're going to take a couple of apples. I'm using the Gala apple today. You can use a Granny Smith if you prefer. I just like the Gala because it's a little sweeter and they're a softer apple. Now there's just two. You want to go ahead and peel your apple and then take the core out and then um, chop them up into bite-sized pieces or even smaller than that. Now you're also going to have one large egg. There's going to be some milk in this, some lemon juice, some melted butter, vanilla, we've got flour, white sugar, baking powder, some salt, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg in this. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put the lemon juice over the apples. And we're just going to let those sit while we mix up the rest of our ingredients. And as always, I will put all the exact measurements and all the ingredients and the instructions under the video that way you'll have it and you can write it down later on all right so then we're going to have our egg which we already have in our bowl you're going to want to go ahead and whisk it slightly and then we're going to add our wet ingredients into this bowl so you'll need three bowls to do this and of course you'll need a skillet and some oil all right we're going to go ahead and put the milk in and this is the butter. We went ahead and melted it in our microwave for about 15 seconds. And then vanilla. And then you're just going to whisk these. All right. Now let's go ahead and do our dry ingredients. And we've got flour. We're going to add in our baking powder into our flour and we'll go ahead and put in oops our salt let me go grab some more of that and some sugar and our nutmeg and our cinnamon let me grab some more salt since I spilled a little bit of that. All right. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of it. All right. And then we're going to whisk that. And then we're going to add in our wet ingredients and then our apples. This is a really delicious recipe if y'all like an apple dessert good for breakfast or a dessert in the evening time and since it's fall and apples are really you know at their freshest right now it's a great time to try to make this type of recipe all right let's go ahead and add in our wet ingredients and so we're going to whisk that up a little bit you don't want to over mix the batter um, on this type of batter, you just want to make sure you just get everything combined well. And once it's combined, you don't really want to mix it any further because you want it to be fluffy when it, when we fry it. All right. And then we're going to add in our apples to this. With the lemon juice and that's going to make these really nice and delicious in this recipe all right now let's just stir these in to combine and then what we're going to do once we get this all combined and mixed in well with the batter we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to start frying these up okay y'all we're at the stove and you want to make sure you get your grease good and hot. And I am using canola oil today. You can use uh, whatever type of oil that you have on hand. You're going to put about an inch uh, at the bottom of your pan. 
because we want to make sure that these get coated pretty much and then we're going to drain them on paper towels and then we're going to put them on a wire rack so what you're going to want to do is just take a spoon or some type of a scoop and depending on how big you want your fritter i'm going to make mine kind of small um, you just got to take a nice scoop full and then you're going to put it in your grease of course they're going to be lumpy because you have your apples in there and that's fine and the thing is you just want to get them to to be a nice golden brown so let's go ahead and put a couple more in these are going to be really good I love apple desserts. I love apple crisp and apple pie. This is just a good alternative to that. If you like apples, I think y'all really will enjoy this one. All right, as you can see, you just they're not gonna be completely round. You just want them to be a nice size to so where you can flip them over. Yeah, you want them to be about that color brown. So I'm going to go ahead and finish frying these up and then we'll come back and then I'm going to show you how they look when they're all done. Okay, y'all, as you can see, we've got our apple fritters out of our grease. We drained them on paper towels, and then I put them on a wire rack. And now we're just gonna top ours with some powdered sugar. You can do a glaze for these, but I'm, I like just a plain old, just a little bit of a powdered sugar on here. Just gives it a nice taste and a little sweetness to it. And you can put as much or as little, you know, as you'd like. But anyway, I hope that y'all will try this recipe. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you like an apple dessert, you'll really like this one. And I hope that y'all will go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for notifications for upcoming videos. Y'all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.